Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another dual draft review. Now here we have Kosh as you've seen him before. He's uh, been here in, on my channel a few times and today as you saw in the intro we are reviewing the Stella Unfiltered on the perfect draft. So there you go. Uh, Kosh has got his in the background there as you can see there. Um, so yeah we are going to be reviewing this together and uh, as I say this is the first time that we've ever done this and uh, yeah we'll see what Kosh thinks of this. It's the first time beer for both of us. Uh, I've never tried it, and neither has Kosh. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how we, what we think of it. So, uh, cheers, everyone. Okay, so now you join us for the tasting of the uh, Perfect Draft Stella Unfiltered. Now, as the name suggests, this is unfiltered, which means it's got all the good bits in it, which, in theory, you can remix later on in the keg, but for the sake of the art, I'm not going to bother today. Um, so let's crack on with the aromas and then the smell. And uh, before I start, I do know that this has been a massive good seller and possibly a best seller for a while now in Perfect Draft. People rant and rave about it, so why not try it? So here we go, first with the aroma. Smells a bit yeasty, um, not too worried about that, but uh, as we know, it's all about the taste, so let's dig in. To be honest, I'd say it's quite medium bodied, very quite hoppy. Um, hop aftertaste as well comes in that's quite strong, but it's not a leafy hop either, it's not really oily, so it's somewhere in between, which is nice. Um, I do get a bit of wateriness from that, but not massively watery, so I think normal Stella is a bit more waterier than this, and I think this is a better version of Stella. So if I was going to pick, I would probably say I'd go for this. Um, I wouldn't say it's overly first quenching because it's actually quite a dry hoppy taste to this but it does have some good qualities about it and um, as I say it, it seems to go down okay if I'm being quite honest with you it's not I wouldn't say it's heavy I wouldn't say it's too light you know you could drink this and, and probably have a good night on it hmm. yeah I, I mean I don't mind that um, I would probably score that I'd probably give it a good 8 out of 10 pretty reasonable not the best I've had on perfect draft but uh Definitely a good contender. So uh, I'll take it over to Kosh now and let's see what he thinks. Okay, so now it's my turn to try the Stella Unfiltered. This come, I actually mistakenly thought this comes in at 4%, but I think I was getting mixed up with the Stella Triple that they used to sell in the pubs. I don't know if you remember that. I haven't seen it for a good few years. So uh, this is actually 5%. So I'm going to try it now. Um, Really, I've got a really bad sense of smell, so I'll just taste it. It's actually quite nice. It's easy, easy to drink. Um, we did pour these quite some time ago because we had a few bloopers, and um, it's still quite fizzy. Still got quite a lot of life in it. Still ice cold. The machine is at uh, three degrees, so that's that's good. We've had it chilling all day. Um, and if I think this is our, or well, this is Roku's first uh, duo on the Perfect Draft machine, so this is the first time for the channel. Uh, as for the beer, it's quite. I see what he means about the. Um, quite a hoppy aftertaste but it's very easy drinking and um, to be honest it's quite pleasant um, I would definitely score this a good solid 8 out of 10 so it's a, a definite yes yes from me oh shit Hello and welcome. So uh, here we are now to try and taste this. So first of all, we'll start with the aroma and I'll get on to taste. It actually smells really quite yeasty and uh, the best thing about this, it does have natural sediment in this beer. So again, you could in theory remix this, but 
<laughs> so now you join me here for the tasting of the Stella Artois unfiltered and of course the name suggests it is unfiltered which basically means it still has a seven inside this so in theory you can remix this but I'm not going to bother on this video so let's just crack on the aromas and end the taste Smells a bit yeasty, um, but nevertheless, let's uh, crack straight on there. This is also very good on the draft, evidently. Loads of people rate this. <laughs>